Well guys, it's springtime and you know what that means. It means you gotta put your fertilizer on your lawn to make it grow and be green. Um, not a big fan of that. Believe it or not, fertilizer does have an effect on our water quality in our ponds that we fish. Uh, whether it be a pond, a lake, a river, a creek, uh, a wetland, anything like that. Any, anywhere that water pools and water drains in, phosphates are gonna affect it. Uh, because fertilizers, they get run off from the water. So you put fertilizer on your lawn, right? And then it rains and then you water and different things like that. It causes the fertilizer to run off. The chemicals in the fertilizer get run off into the water and the water always flows downhill and it collects in the low spots. So that means that the chemicals in the water that you put, the chemicals from the fertilizer that you put in the water get washed down and they collect in our fishing ponds, rivers, creeks, and lakes. Um, and the key component in fertilizers is phosphates. Uh, the chemical is phosphates. Um, <coughs> phosphates are a chemical that um, it helps plants grow and stay green longer and it gives them nutrients to grow faster. Um, so when it gets into our ponds, what it does, it affects the algae. The algae uh, takes the nutrients from the phosphates that were in your fertilizer that were on your lawn that got washed into the pond. The algae takes the nutrients from that and it just grows uncontrollably. And that has an effect on all of the invertebrates and vertebrates inside the water. So we're talking uh, fish, we're talking leeches, we're talking snails crayfish, mayflies, dragonflies, anything like that is going to be affected by this. I'll tell you why. See, algae grows on the top of the water and oxygen gets exchanged into the water through the surface. Get where I'm going here? When algae grows on the top of the water, it will take over the whole pond if you don't do anything about it and if it has an unlimited supply of nutrients. So when that algae covers up that whole pond, lake, whatever you're talking here, uh, there's no oxygen exchanged. So the oxygen levels will go down. And the hotter it is, the less oxygen there is in the water. That's just how it works. The colder it is, so in the winter, there's a lot more oxygen in the water. In the summertime, there's a little less. But this algae will take away where the water um, gets the oxygen into like the lake or the wetland or the river or the creek, whatever we're talking here. Um, so that's, there's gonna be no oxygen getting in there. And this all comes back to people putting fertilizers on their lawns. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves right now. I have uh, an independent study through my high school down at the district's Wilderness Science Center. And one of my things I do out there is uh, water quality testing in the wetland. And, um, I've been doing this all year long and I've noticed key spikes of when the phosphates are off the charts. They have been off the charts more than they have been on the charts. Uh, by that I mean the way I read the phosphates is there's this little disc where it starts out real like, like clear and then it just gets a tint of blue and the darker it gets the higher the phosphates and it's got numbers that read that and different things like that. So I put my chemical for the phosphates in the test tube where I get the water from. I get the water out of the wetland, put the chemical in there and shake it up for a minute, let it sit, and then I read it. So I put it in this little box and I read it. And more times than not, it's been off the charts. It's been over 40 milligrams per liter. And that is no bueno for us fishermen. Uh, so, because the phosphates make the algae grow, Algae grows on the top of the pond, or the lake, or whatever we're talking here, and then there's no oxygen getting into the water through the surface. And that causes everything to die, including fish, because fish breathe through gills. And gills take the oxygen out of the water, believe it or not. So, let me check my list here. I gotta make sure I covered everything. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, that means no more fishing. In case I didn't didn't 
cover that enough. That means you cannot fish because there are no fish. And I don't think you'd want to because the whole pond is covered in moss. Um, back to my personal experiences. When I'm out fishing in the springtime, I've noticed a lot that there's some bright green stringy moss that's getting caught in my lures and different things like that. And it's a pain in my butt. And that's because of phosphates, if you guys didn't know. Um, these phosphates are just kind of out of control in our ponds because people have to have green lawn you know because that's important and all to me i'd rather fish than have a green lawn uh, really all you have to do is water your lawn regularly and it'll be green um, so yeah that's that's about it on that um, back to the fishing aspect of it if you guys do notice that you're getting some really bright green stringy moss that's getting hung up on your lures. It's because of those phosphates, and it can indicate some higher levels of phosphates in the water. Uh, I will be posting pictures at the end of this video here coming up on, I took some pictures when I was doing water quality testing today, and they were off the charts, uh, I tell you that. Um, and I will be posting a picture of my little diagram that I drew that kind of helps explain this a lot more than me just babbling on and on and on. So, the key points I wanted to hit on this is when you put fertilizer on your lawn, it gets washed downhill into low-lying spots where our water accumulates, which is lakes, ponds, rivers, creeks, different things like that. And what that does, the algae in the ponds use the phosphates from your fertilizer as nutrients to grow and they grow uncontrollably and then they will eventually cover the whole top of the pond and there will be no dissolved there will be no oxygen getting in through the top of the water becoming dissolved oxygen for aquatic organisms to live and breathe from and so that means everything dies and it's all because of the fertilizer that you put on your lawns so uh, I am the Kansas fisherman and I have an Instagram and a Twitter uh, Twitter is KS underscore fisherman so go follow me there and my Instagram is Kansas underscore Fisherman. Uh, I hope you guys under, understood what I was trying to say and kind of get this off my chest because it's been really bugging me and I just had to get other people to know what I'm talking about. And um, that's about it. I've babbled a lot. I can go on and on about this, but I'll stop. Uh, so I've got the Instagram and the Twitter and I will be coming at you with another video here pretty soon. And uh, don't forget to like this if you agree with me. Uh, so here are those pictures and I'm out.